now, Champions Road. Now, before I do this for real, which will be four times, I'm going to be going ahead and going through the, with Rosalina. I'm not actually going to clear it with Rosalina, but I will go through the entire level, just not at the flagpole. And that is because I'm wanting to go through the level and go over each section of the level and uh, g uh, like explain stuff about each section of the level and giving some helpful hints and tips, tricks, whatever along the way. I'm ready. Let's go. Of course, this level, like the two Honeycomb Skyway and Starway levels, has the Champions Road music, which is a remix of the Gusty Garden soundtrack from the well, from Super Mario Galaxy, that of course returning Galaxy 2 in the uh, Grandmaster Galaxy level. <laughs> and this first level has these moving platforms and these Akumas from the Galaxy games. Easy enough to navigate platform. It's easy to fall up and die, but it should be easy enough for anybody to be able to navigate. And this next section has these fire bros and platforming in it. These guys are easy enough to disregard. If you want to kill all the enemies like I am, you can. For speedrunners, I don't recommend it, but if you want to make sure you go through the love pool and you're someone such as, as an example, Dragon Susan 1 and not as skilled as someone like me. They give you plenty of time to clear the level, so if you want to take it slow instead, you can and kill all the enemies. I'm actually gonna have to frickin' use that method <laughs> after a failure already, but hey, I'm fine with failing. Oh wait, can't, can't you reload files on the fly? Okay, you can load files on the fly, so I will do that once I'm done uh, going through this whole Lord's Lane to show everything off and explain stuff in the section, sections and give uh, recommendations, hints, tricks, tips, whatever. And failure! Lest we forget the failure. <laughs> I'm very vulnerable depending on how long it takes me to go through Champions Road. I'm very vulnerable. Have Champions Ruby's own video and just close off this video if this is its own video and it probably will be. Um, all by saying, I hope you guys all enjoy these videos. But anyway, And if, you, if you're someone who's not like me, you just want to clear the levels and collect all the collectibles and you don't want to go through all the levels of all the characters for the full, complete 100%ing of the game like I do, basically, let me reward this. If you're someone who doesn't care about the full, true 100% completion of the game and just wants to go for all the gold flagpoles, green stars, and stamps in the game, then I highly recommend it. use Rose, just use Rosalina or Peach depending on what it, your preference is. If uh, Peach's spin jump attack works better for you, or Peach's floating works better for you. Then again, of course, this room has the level, or has the beat blocks, like the beat block levels in this game that were inspired by the beat block galaxy level from Galaxy 2. Especially for beginners, I would highly recommend using Rosalina over Peach, but if making optimal use of the spin jump is something you're struggling with or something that is daunting to you, then use Peach, because Peach's floating is, I want to say, a less effort than having to use Rosalina's spin jump attack. This next room is disintegrating platforms and Camax slash Magic Moves, so... Do not stay in one place for the, uh, for, for, in one place for too long. While also making sure to dodge the magic hoopas, their fire attacks, and best shots of their magic attacks if you give them a chance to hit you with them. As well, of course, make sure obviously do your best to dodge the fire bars. 
Now, one Zara you can use for this section, if you're struggling with it, is get uh, bring the Lucky Cat Bell with you and then switch over to it, or put it on your character if you're not using it power up yet. And uh, that way you can use the gold statue to destroy those spiked. Um, I'll just call them spike bars. I don't know what the actual name for them is. Now, this section, I highly recommend you don't, but you were intended to use the potted piranha plant to eat up the fuzzies. I will do this as I want to show this off. I just hope I don't freaking lose the thing and need to jump to freaking dodge this. Okay, good. But yeah, I highly recommend you don't bother taking your time to have the piranha plants eat all the freaking fuzzies since they're easy enough to avoid anyway, but I do want to show off these. That's just a good thing they give you some- Oh, interesting, you get a bunch of coins if you do that. Not that you need that, but I don't know if I ever even knew that. <laughs> Maybe, like, my one of my first times ever playing through this level I did that, but I did not remember that being a thing. So either I never did that, or I, uh, did it in the past and just don't remember. Also, interesting, akin to the Piranha Plant items, um, grabbing onto self, including bloopers, one of the blooper items used in Mark Hart 8 and Mark 8 Deluxe, um, the uh, Piranha Plants can also grab green stars. Either I knew that in the past and forgot, or never knew that. You shall live, I will not throw you off. You helped me. Anyway, now here's this little section. This section can be a pain. It's these ant trooper enemies with the spike on their heads. I don't know if they're called this, but I'm gonna dub these guys Spike Top. Ant Troopers, considering the uh, spike top enemies, the art enemies that are not in this game. Then, if, if like one thing I would say to recommend people, I would relatively recommend if you're only wanting to play this level once and that's it, use Rosalina over Peach because Peach's floating can make this section quite awkward <laughs> and make it very easy to unintentionally take a hit. Whereas if you're any character but Peach, you can hold down the um button that you hold down for speed i use the y button so you can just jump off this platform and then jump off the front plants like that damn it all the hell I'm so tempted to just give in and start over. Be there. Yeah, whatever. Sigh. That said, I'm gonna go ahead. I'll be back in just a second with stuff, but anyway. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and load the save file. Oh, and my voice is a bit quieter than it has been. I got a text to uh, please be quieter. Hello there. All set. And I have no problem honoring that. <clears throat> wow. Anyway. I'm ready. Let's go. That's just something I never usually do, using the cat power for this level. Mm. No! And that's the ball game. Level one, cat power of zero. <laughs> That notification is just YouTube. Just kind of 
speed through this now that I've explained stuff in each of these sections so far. Side. Definitely want that uh, Snooky Leaf and so in case I'm taking damage in the Chronic Reaper section again. Okay, I wasn't trying to spin, do the spin jump and then Rosalina spin jump attack, but I'll take it. <laughs> so glad I didn't take damage from those fuzzies. That came extremely close. I was mere pixels from taking damage from those fuzzies. Thankfully, it did not happen. Yeah, now that I'm talking about water, yeah, I do realize I was talking about water than I freaking needed to, because this shit supplies for you guys will be here long well enough. Now, let's see. There. Now there's this water section. At least where all these spikes are, you can't cheap out with Cat. They made sure to make it so you could not use Cat to cheap this section out. At least where the spikes are, because there's a part on the outside the trick you can do with Peach to climb up and skip all this, but... I tried a few times to pull off in the past, and it's just... No. That was never worth my time to me. <clears throat> Down to the final section, and it is a doozy. These things just spawn the electric waves from the Galaxy 2, and these boost panels. And not only that, but boost panel speed in this version of the game for the Wii U version will slow down because of the characters getting their speed boost, so. Yeah, I'm not. Of course I fell off. Oh well. Like for that section. I recommend if you can have a power up in the reserve in case you take damage, you can try and freaking get a power up to make sure you don't die. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to use Rosalina for, so I'm gonna reload because I'm not gonna get to that point. Like, I I'm, I'm accepting of that anyway. I'm honestly fine I died. It actually saved me time because if I kept going successfully, would have taken that much longer on the video, whereas this is cutting it shorter than it would have been otherwise. So now I'm gonna do it with the characters in order. However, not quite, because I am going to now be showing off the levels, best levels in the game to get the Tanuki Leaf. The bomb wall in World 5, for starters, and use Toad because he's faster. People who don't know the super black line level walls I do, or 
and do it as fast as I do, or people that don't want to use the Super Block Land, whatever the case may be, that you don't want to use Super Block Land, I highly recommend coming here to get into Kinooki at least for Champion Road. <laughs> But I want to say that you can clear, can clear Super Black Land faster than this level if you're skilled and well versed enough in the Super Black Land level. Regardless of whether or not that is the case, I prefer Super Black Land for getting Kinooki leaves over the bombs below. <clears throat> Star. Okay, there's the last key. <clears throat> to be able to reload save files on the fly in this version, unlike the Wii U version. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Always have a leaf in the backup. <sighs> Sigh, now I have to worry about dying. Damn it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And uh, now I can reload the save file. Son of a crap. That freaking printed chronic creeper section.
You clear all the courses playing as Mario. That gives you a new stamp. So yeah, for clearing all the levels with each character, you get a character-specific stamp for all the characters. And for someone who doesn't care about that aspect of 100%ing the game, again, like I said, I highly, highly, highly recommend Rosalina, but if not, use Peach. <laughs> now, unless you can rock out with the new things, such as how I did with Mario in this finally successful attempt. Anyway, now I'm going back to Super Block Land to get myself another Tanuki Leaf. Time. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, having to clear all the levels in this game, including Champions Road, all the characters, is specifically having to do it in Champions Road is what made me think of doing what I did for my Galaxy 2 Let's Play, which, which was to clear 
both the normal and perfect run missions in Grandmaster Galaxy with both Mario and Luigi. Yeah, as long as you know what you're doing, I'm fairly certain you can definitely do this a little faster than the boss wall level. <coughs> Come on, pretty far clearing crap. <coughs> My moronic self did not get another two nuclear leaves in the level. I just cleared it. Good lord. Uh. Great time. Let's go. There are mushroom houses in this world. Yes. I'm going to go small. Please give me the freaking power up, seeing as I screwed up more honestly. Thank you. Oh. I'm curious. Probably not, but I want to see. Nope, Mushroom Houses didn't respawn. Oh well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 